suppose you were walking by my house one day. You've been walking by for a long time. And I were to go up on the porch and say, hey, stop, I've got some good news. Good news for you people. Stop, stop, stop. You don't have to go down in my basement. <laughs> this is great news. You've been walking by all this time. You've been ignoring me. And I deserve to be recognized and honored. And you've been ignoring me. And it's made me so angry and so mad. And I just get so horribly mad. So I built this torture chamber down in the basement. <laughs> And there's some hooks down there, and there's some sharp things, and there's some vats of stinky stuff, and there's a furnace, and there's some chains, and it's horrible, and there's flames. But you don't have to go down there. I sent my son down there. <laughs> and... And... It was gruesome. I tell you, it was really horrible. But that satisfied my anger. And now <laughs> his blood was shed. And now, I'm, now, now, you, now you're free. You don't have to go down. All you have to do, come on up here. Just come up and tell my son that you love him, and hug him. And then you can move in with us. We'll live up in the attic. And you can, you can tell me how great I am. Uh, you, can, you, can, you, can just tell, you can just tell me how much you love me. And we'll do that. Won't that be great? So would you keep walking? 